Holy hell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. So yeah, the, these are mental. These are brand new skins you can get with the virtual ticket for BlizzCon. Now I'll show you guys how to get this later on in the video. We'll have a little bit of a discussion on, well, where the hell is the uh, the Demon Hunter skin? Um, uh, that was supposed to be available for everybody, right? For Sombra last year. Where's it gone, Blizz? Any chance? Anyway, these are the Taronda. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Taronda. That's how you pronounce it, not Tarande. Ugh, that's like mega nerd moment. Anyway, Taronda. Um, skin for Symmetra and the Illidan skin for Genji. Now, these were announced yesterday and they are ridiculous. I was actually standing in the literally in the foyer the main entrance of blizzard and they announced these skins i was like holy hell threw a tweet out and i sort of just forgot that symmetra existed so people were like style what the hell that symmetra skin looks pretty good and it does look pretty damn good these skins look really really good and it's been ages since we've had crossover skins i think we're going back to blizzcon 2017 when we got the blizzard world and we got all of the like the various skins we got with that a lot of good crossover skins and there's a lot of good stuff that blizzard could do with crossover skins but i'm really hyped for this because illidan is one of my favorite characters Characters from the Warcraft universe, so I think that really works super well with Genji. Uh, Symmetra, that looks cool as well. I mean, really super detailed, and it does look like Taronda as well, so you can't really complain there. But the big thing is, guys, how do you get these, and what the hell is going on in the community? Because people are sort of, you know, there's a bit of moaning going on, and maybe rightfully so, because, well, the... The, the Sombra Demon Hunter skin was supposed to be available anyway, and it's kind of not. Like, so, yeah. People don't like these skins being locked behind the, the all-access pass. Uh, well, no, that's that's Overwatch League. <laughs> that's me getting confused. Being locked behind the um, virtual ticket. So, let's take a look at this. So, if you go to the BlizzCon virtual ticket page, you'll see that you can buy the virtual ticket, and it's $50. Now, what this lets you do is watch BlizzCon from home. Now, yes, okay, I'm a bit of a Blizzard fanboy. You probably can tell that by the fact I've literally made 2,000 plus videos on Overwatch, ladies and gentlemen, and been to, I, I mean, I think this is literally my fifth BlizzCon I'd be going to also. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, but this is worth it because you get access to a lot of panels where you can sort of get behind the scenes of the game that you enjoy. I remember there was a lot of interesting ones on Overwatch's like really early development cycle and all kinds of stuff like that. So for me personally, it's worth it for that. The problem is when they put skins of the caliber of the Illidan skin and the Symmetra skin we've just looked at for Taronda, it, it well, no, the Taronda Symmetra skin, there you go, kind of got it the wrong way around. Um, people kind of get frustrated and it's rightfully so. I mean, you're basically paying $50 for two skins, although actually you get a load of extra stuff with a virtual ticket. I kind of sound like a bit of a blizzard salesman, but I do enjoy the virtual ticket. Um, but I'm lucky enough to go to BlizzCon anyway, but then I kind of, I think this is included in the BlizzCon ticket, actually, if you've got a BlizzCon ticket, maybe. I'm sure it is. Anyway, let's take a look at this, because what it says is level up your BlizzCon, take your BlizzCon home experience to the next level, get into the BlizzCon spirit with your friends and allies in game with a cash of comm commemorative digital extras, uh, then get ready to watch in-depth live coverage of the show alongside your fellow members of the Blizzard community on November the 1st and the 2nd, including two days of the All Access Channel, the Community Night Contest, etc, etc, etc. So you don't get these skins right now. They're not in the game right now, but I think if you buy this, as soon as BlizzCon happens, you'll get the skins. I'm not too sure of the dates. If any of you guys have seen the dates, then let me know in the comments below. But still, two amazingly good skins. Okay, so this is the final thing I want to discuss, and this is the potential for crossplay on Overwatch, specifically between the consoles. I don't know if this would work with, let's say, consoles and PC, because you've got the whole kind of controller versus keyboard and mouse thing, and it's probably not somewhere Blizzard wants to go. Maybe they will, I don't know, but let's just check this out. So this is from Wired, and, and this is what was said. Which makes growth the magic word, and which is why PlayStation Now improvements aren't even the only move Sony is making. Despite handedly winning the sales battle this console generation, while it's not announced in the news explicitly, the PS4's crossplay efforts have officially moved out of the beta stage, meaning that the console can now support crossplay on any titles that the studio provides functionality for. So that's cool, right? That means if you're a dev, you can support crossplay. Uh, cross that would be great. But here's the killer thing. Check this out. I mean, remember, this is Activision Blizzard, right? This month's Modern Warfare may be the first major title to take advantage of it at launch and likely won't be the last. There you go. So that's Activision Blizzard doing cross-play with Call of Duty. That should probably mean cross-play with Overwatch is not a, like something which is going to be difficult to implement. The question here is as well, would we get cross-play between Switch, uh, Xbox, PS4? Would that even be a thing? I mean, on Xbox and PS4, Overwatch runs at 60 FPS. It only runs on 30 on Switch. But you could argue they're similar control methods. Maybe Nintendo 
won't support that. I don't know. There's a lot of questions, but I think crossplay for Overwatch could actually be a really big thing, and it's definitely something I, I would actually support. You guys know I don't play on console, but like if you're playing on PS4 and Xbox, you should be able to play together. It literally makes no difference in my eyes. Anyway, anyway, guys, I'm Installo, so this is Unit Lost. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like the video. It helps an absolute ton. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, which is at Stylosa, and uh, I'm also at Stylosa on Instagram, and uh, yeah, I'm off on my plane to fly back to the UK from LA, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Toodaloo.